everybody. It's John from Best Outdoors. We uh, just arrived up here at the cabin. We're unpacking some things and uh, we hand it off to Steve and let him tell you what he's doing. Well, we are, like he said, unpacking. So I'm trying to get all of our camera stuff charging. And we're also getting Jaden's backpack that we just bought him packed up. John's taking care of food. What's that? <laughs> John's taking care of food. Yeah, I gotta put it away. Uh, I'm I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Jaden's over there. Going through the GoPro box looking for a setup for his. So yeah, yeah, I need that. Trying to get set up. Yep. Yep, I need that. So, show you a little bit around. Sort of. Yeah. Hey. Checking uh, a trail cam that was pulled last weekend. It is at a spot that Jaden will be hunting this weekend. So. See what we got. Oh, I wonder. That's nine oh one AM. That was nine oh four. That one looks a little bit bigger. I wonder if that's that spiker and that five point that are uh grouped up. Oh maybe that would be on last week's video that I missed. I'll have to let John know when he gets out of the bathroom. And then at 9.07, that big boy comes out That looks like a... Yeah, Jaden. That's a... Look at the body difference. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the same deer. Cause look. Look at the horn. And then down. You'll see the horn. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking what happened. That's the spiker. See how he's a little bit narrower. In the five point, mm -hmm. not much of a turn horn there, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden the he comes out. So maybe so it went. It looks like it went spiker five point, and then whatever he is. Yeah. Which we should have another video um, picture picture of him, and we'll post that up here in a second. So, that is a deer that we've been seeing off and on onto this property. And he's been on multiple trail cams. So, I am setting up a tree stand in the middle of the swamp so I can overlook to see if I can see his routes this weekend. Jaden's going to set where this trail cam's at 
to see if he's going to stay on that route. And then John's going to go to the far west of the property to see if he's going to be exiting our property again this weekend. Um, so we're going to figure out if I can see where he comes on. Jaden's going to be in the middle, seeing if he's going to come to um, what we call a water source. There's a creek that runs right beside where Jaden's hunting. Um, and it also goes into the food plot a little bit. But we don't think he's going up there. We are going to avoid trying to hunt, not hunt the uh, food plot this weekend. We're going to try to leave it until uh, rifle season. We're going to hunt the outskirts to see if we can find the routes of the new deer that are going to come into the property, coming into the rut. So I'm going through this trail cam. To see if there's any other activity, what's coming onto the property, what has changed. And these pics are from the Sunday that we left here last. And this card was pulled last Monday, which would be the. 19th yes 19th this card got pulled so this will have a whole week of pictures on it but we are majority looking at this deer right here that started coming around on the 11th and he comes in late in the morning or late at night so we have day pit time picks of them so we're gonna have to get up real early get on that get up in the stands so hopefully everything works scouting's been pretty good this year so that's the 11th 12th 13th 14th 15th nope skips a day there was a day where there was no action. So out of the seven days, there was only one day with no action. One day with no action? Yep. Which was the 15th, I said. And that was a Thursday. Yep, and Grandpa pulled it on the 19th, like I thought he did. And unfortunately, there's not a card back in that camera, so we have to put one back in there. So we don't know what happened throughout this whole week. So, that is the deer that Jaden will be going after this whole weekend. Um, he'll be hunting that stand morning, night for the next three days which would be Friday night, Saturday morning Saturday night, Sunday morning and that'll be it and then we're going to let it cool down for two weeks and then we'll be back up here and we'll check the cards again, see where if he's moved or well, I shouldn't say that. We're hoping he hopefully we're taking him home to the processor this weekend. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it to the processor this weekend. So that is our plan and then in future plans we'll be back up here in two weeks but in the meantime next weekend is would be Halloween and 
this video should be posted up the Thursday before Halloween so we are a week behind on videos so please be patient with us we're trying to edit videos for every weekend so far so yeah so we got the cabin cleared up organized yeah it's always a mess when we first get up here then we organize it normally we don't check trail cams usually that's the next day after the morning hunt but this one ended up being pulled and left on the table for us to look at. Hopefully that's a sign. No, that is a sign. We need to go for this deer. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to pull the cards tomorrow afternoon. Go through them. see where everyone's hunting tomorrow night which most likely Jaden's here I'm gonna be in a uh, climber John said he's gonna be hunting in his stand again so it's gonna be a good weekend so we'll see you tomorrow
I've been searching for a little bit on that buck and uh, I knew my arrow had to be somewhere close by. Come to find out, it's sticking in a tree. And there's no blood on it. No gut, nothing. So it was a clean mess. I'd rather have a clean mess and find the arrow than have a wounded deer out there. So I guess better luck next weekend. We'll see what uh, Stephen and Jaden got, if they got anything. I'm going to close things up and head back to the cabin.